Hi, everybody. I know you've been uh, uh, sitting. Can everybody hear me? I know you've been sitting for a while. Does everybody just want to take a minute to stand up before we get started here? <laughs> Believe me, this is not a cheap way to get a standing ovation or anything like that. <laughs> just uh, you can stretch, etc. And uh, and while you're doing that, let me just say thank you very much uh, to all of you for for inviting me here today. Uh, hopefully you won't be regretting it uh, uh, 45 minutes uh, from now. Uh, special thanks to, uh, to Pat O'Connor, uh, who I consider a, a great friend and is clearly so knowledgeable in, in so many areas. Uh, you know, I said to Pat as he was about to come up this morning as, as the first keynote, I said, you know, I hope you do really well, but please don't raise the bar too high. <laughs> and I must say, he raised the bar far uh, higher than, uh, uh, than I ever expected. And uh, my sense of uh, all of you is actually that uh, uh, you're a group of friends uh, who work very well together. And so, you know, while I have a formal speech here, I thought, well, I probably shouldn't give that. And why don't I just uh, uh, speak with you really from my heart uh, about some things that, uh, that I consider to be really important. If there is at any point during this when you say to yourselves, Gee, you know, no, he really should have gone with the formal speech option. You know, raise your hands, you know, and I'll, uh, uh, you can choose door number two uh, uh, if you want. Uh, let me start, though, by saying thank you to all of you for everything that you do. Uh, first of all, to those of you who are college uh, admissions staff, if you work half as hard as the college admissions staff at Defiance College, you are doing an absolutely tremendous job, and you're probably working far too hard. So I, I appreciate how much it is uh, uh, that you do. And uh, of course, for those of you who are uh, high school guidance counselors, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart as a college president for what you do in terms of trying to help encourage students to go to college, help link them with the appropriate college, and help make sure that, that the fit is right. You know, you change so many lives in so many different ways, and I know there's been a lot of discussion at the conference about some of the challenges that you face and the economic challenges in particular and the budget problems. But please don't lose sight of how important it is uh, what you are doing. So thank you very much for that. You know, I think one of the things that you do is help students realize that they should not just rely on first impressions, that they need to really uh, look closely at colleges, they really need to look closely at different, uh, uh, different opportunities. And uh, just as a way of, uh, uh, of introduction, I somehow seem to be a person who has all kinds of strange first impressions when he starts at an in institution. And let me just give you uh, uh, two examples of that. Uh, one, you didn't hear my, uh, uh, my background, and I would not want to subject anybody to it. Uh, but. Uh, uh, you know, before I was uh, a president, I was dean at University of Detroit Mercy Law School, which of course meant that I, uh, I, I went to law school at some point in my, uh, in my shady past. <laughs> and um, and I, I went to Harvard, and let me tell you about my first day there as a, uh, a new student at Harvard Law School. One of the things that they do is they take you on a tour of the library. And the library there, if you're like me, I love books. And the library is just fantastic, and it is full of books and they go back for, uh, for miles and they go back you know, for ages. You know, even the dust on the books had dust on them. You know, it, it, was, uh, it was so great uh, in that respect. And we got to one of the floors of the library where they have all of the state statutes, all of the codes, all of the laws for every state in the union. And the librarian said very proudly, you know, you'll find here every law for every state of the union and they are arranged alphabetically over here from A for Alabama to Y for Wyoming. <laughs> and, you know, I called my, uh, I got back to my dorm room and I called my then girlfriend, now wife, and said, you know, I don't think Harvard's going to be as tough as it's cracked up to be. <laughs> you know, I then started as, uh, uh, 
you know, quite a number of years later as dean at, at University of Detroit Mercy Law School. So actually before moving to, uh, to Defiance uh, last year, you know, I spent seven years around here uh, living in Gross Point, actually. Uh, and I had, an announcement went out that I had been named as the dean and uh, uh, by email. Uh, I was in New York uh, at the time because I'd been teaching at Columbia. And as dean, of course, the first thing I was going to do was call every faculty member just as soon as the announcement was going out, you know, and the associate deans, et cetera, to say how much I was looking forward to spending time with them. And so the first call that I made was to the associate dean, uh, who actually uh, uh, happened to be also the, uh, the head of the libraries. And uh, he wasn't there. Th his uh, assistant picked up. And so this was literally my first conversation after having been named uh, law school dean. He said, hi, this is Mark Gordon. You might have just seen the email that went out naming me as dean of the law school. Silence. <laughs> Absolute utter silence for a long, long time. And then what, uh, uh, what this woman said, who became a, a, a great friend, you know, you weren't my first choice. <laughs> So, you know, that was a great way. I thought, boy, well, the honeymoon really didn't last long. Uh, did it. So I've had some strange first impressions. Uh, and I think that you do a great job in terms of helping students realize that they should not rely on those first impressions. Because what I ended up discovering at law school and what I ended up discovering uh, uh, as dean was that those institutions were very different uh, from their first impressions. Uh, now, that really leads me to talking about something that uh, Patrick raised this morning, and you'll see the, the title of, of my comments, deal with uh, college rankings and reimagining undergraduate education. And I think uh, rankings are probably the number one first impression that everybody has uh, of a college. And so I want to talk with you uh, a little bit about them and about some of the uh, uh, some of the problems and some of the issues. And let me say from the beginning, I am no expert. You know, I speak to you as the uh, president of a college you know, who has a full, I think, nine months under my belt. Uh, so it's not as if there is vast uh, experience uh, here. But uh, I do think that uh, this is an important topic. And my initial uh, interaction with the rankings really came two months into my time as president of the college. Because the, uh, the rankings, the new rankings were issued, and the uh, head of marketing uh, sent me a draft press release for Defiance College to put out. And she wanted me to approve the press release and also to give those all important presidential quotes uh, that go into them. Uh, what had happened was that actually the, uh, the college had shot up pretty dramatically uh, uh, in the rankings. And so, of course, the release spoke about you know, how wonderful this was and how great it was that now the whole world recognized what a stupendous uh, institution uh, we were. And uh, my quotes were supposed to basically uh, reflect that. And we started talking about where we'd send the release and how it would get distributed and things like that. And I started working on, on my quote, and then I stopped. And you know, I said to her, you know, the truth is, if instead of having gone up a whole bunch of places, we had gone down, we would not be putting out a release in which we said, gee, you know, I guess things are really falling apart at our college. Uh, and you know, if US News says it, we must not be doing a good job. And gee, we're going to work on picking up the pieces. We'd be putting out a release saying, you know, the rankings have it all wrong, and they really don't tell you anything uh, about the college. Uh, and, uh, and I said, and the truth is, if that were the case, I would actually be being honest that that's what I believe. And so if I believe it, if we were to go down, then the truth is I also believe it if we're going up. And so instead of putting out a release that kind of hailed triumphantly you know, our uh, uh, success in the rankings, instead I wrote an article, a column which got picked up in the, uh, in the newspaper and then sent on a whole bunch of listservs and things like that, <clears throat> which was entitled something like, uh, Defiance College just shot up in the rankings. Here's why you shouldn't care. And I basically went through uh, talking about really why it makes no sense. And I would like to spend a little bit of time with you in terms of explaining why the rankings make no sense.